Mr. President, I rise today on January the Senate is in a quorum call. Mr. President, I ask unanimous consent the quorum call be vitiated. Without objection. Mr. President, I rise on January the 20th, 2016, floor of the United States Senate to acknowledge that today is the 35th anniversary of the return of 53 Americans by the Iranian government to the source of the United States of America after their captivity for 444 days in Iran. As the members of the Senate will remember, they were the employees of the United States Embassy in Tehran who were brutally attacked, through, sent through mock executions, subjected to beatings, subjected to brainwashing, subjected to torture, and for 444 days they were out of communication with their loved ones and with our country. Fortunately, we successfully negotiated their release, and in July, January 20th of, two, of 1980, 1981, they were released back to the United States, but that release included the execution of the Algerian Accords between the United States and the Iranians, which prohibited any hostage from suing the nation of Iran for compensation for their captivity. Since that release, many Americans in the United States House and Senate, including myself, have worked hard to try and right that wrong. And I'm very pleased to acknowledge that on the passage of the omnibus in December, we were able to secure funding to be able to compensate those hostages as they should have been compensated 35 years ago. We were able to take money from the Paribas Bank forfeiture of Iranian funds to the United States government to see to it that they were compensated in some measure for the sacrifice they made for our country. A lot of people have written, why would you pay people for compensate people for their captivity? Why would you go to the effort for 35 years to see to it these people got some amount of money to compensate them for their captivity? Why would we not do it, Mr. President? There are Americans all over the world serving in very dangerous places as ambassadors and diplomats through the State Department. They should know we've got their back not just on the day they're serving, but 35 years later if they were tortured, if they were beaten, or if they were held ca captive. We all know from last weekend we were enjoyed to see the Americans that were released by the Iranians now. We also know that there were Americans taken hostage in Iraq, in Baghdad, just two days later. Taking hostages and taking American hostages and using them as tools of war is something that's been happening for years and years, and the Iranian government have been at the head of it. These Americans deserve fair treatment. They deserve compensation. They deserve recompense for all they suffered. And I'm proud to say that because of a bipartisan effort of the House and the Senate, we were able to do so. I want to thank Senator Corker, the chairman of the Foreign Relations Committee, Senator Cardin, the former chairman, Senator Menendez from New Jersey, Senator Reed from Nevada, who was instrumental in helping, and all the other, and Senator Blumenthal, my, my ranking member on the Veterans Committee of the United States Senate and help, a helper on this bill for all the help they brought and the entire body of the United States Senate who in December voted unanimously to see to it. The Paribus money was made available to the survivors and of the people who were taken hostage in 1979. You might remember, Mr. President, the show Nightline that we see on television started with the original reports in 1979 by, by Ted Koppel about their taking became a television show. They were held that long. I'm glad now the ending of that show is a successful ending where we brought them home. We saw to it they were compensated. Many, some of them have passed away. Some of them have taken their own life. Some of them had difficulties. Some of them have never been able to rid themselves of the scars of captivity, torture, and brainwashing. But fortunately, this Senate and this Congress did what it was supposed to do. It stood up for America, and it sent the signal to everybody who works for our State Department, who's a diplomat for our country, who works overseas, that if you're taken, We'll stand behind you and we will never, ever, ever forget. Whether it's 444 days or 35 years, once an American serving our country, always an American serving our country, and we will always be there for you and go to every effort and every length, even if it does take 35 years. So on the anniversary of their release in 1981, you know, when they came back to the United States of America, we pay tribute to those brave Americans who served our country and were held hostage in Iran. We give thanks that we have the kind of men and women who are willing day in and day out to sacrifice on behalf of our great country. May God bless each and every one of them and may God bless the United States of America. And I would note the absence of a quorum.